If you're hoping for uh, November's elections to solve this, I don't know what to tell you. If you think the other side's better than one side is better than the other side, they're just, somebody said the other day, they're just two wings on the same bird. Just for example, if you've got a lot of hope in the Republican Party, we had, the Republican Party had the House and the Senate for two years under Barack Obama. They passed, I believe it was six bills to repeal Obamacare. Six. Of course, Obama's going to veto them. They do not have a supermajority, so it's vetoed. Six times they put a bill on his desk for him just to veto. And then the American people give him President Trump. So for another two years, they had a man in office that wanted to repeal Obamacare. Anybody tell me how many bills they passed to sit on President Trump's desk? Not one. They could not pass one. When they knew it would be vetoed, they passed six. But when they knew it would be signed, they passed none. What does that tell you about the grand old party? It tells me that all they'd done during that two years was try to get power in the next election cycle. And the American people are like, oh, they're doing it. When they get, when they get a Republican in the presidency, oh, they're going to they're gonna really, no, no. All they are concerned about is retaining their power. That's it. And what you've got to be concerned about or what you've got to understand is you have more power than they do. Did I address that question?